SSH because we are planning to do some features in SUSE Manager based on SALT SSH. Um, SUSE Manager always had a, an SSH based systems management feature um, that was called that is called SSH push and it was very useful for some of our customers because you can actually use it to manage systems that are located outside of your company's firewalls which means they cannot they cannot contact the server so um, as with SSH we initiate the connection from the server to the managed system um, this is a good thing so um, <coughs> The question was, now as we do a lot of things with SALT, how can we make the version 2 of this SSH push feature? And now as there is SALT SSH, we were thinking, yeah, we could basically uh, probably make uh, another version of this feature using SALT SSH. So um, the only thing that was missing or that is missing here is um, imagine you install a package with SALT SSH. You connect from the SUSE Manager server in this case to the managed system, but then when you want to install the package from the company internal um, package repository, it cannot access it because, of course, it's inside the company's firewalls. So um, we need. A, so what we did in the past to solve this problem is um, create a remote port forwardings using SSH um, to forward all the traffic that goes back to the server through the SSH tunnel. So SSH though was missing this feature. Um, so what I did in this hack week is basically, um, uh, let me talk, uh, what I did is um, I added a, another, a new option to Salt SSH to support uh, remote port forwarding basically. Um, I can show you uh, how this works, Danke Klaus. Okay, so um, here you can see um, there's new port forwarding options. You can specify remote port forwards with the same syntax as with the SSH minus, minus R option. Um, and in order to make this work, I have a repository set up on my machine that points to the repository server that is in the company network. So I'm using um, um, any high port, in this case 8888. I need an entry in ETC host as well to point the uh, DNS name of the server to local host. Um, and you will see that it works like this. So um, without the port forwarding, it will not work because it cannot access it. Here it will say um, connection failed. But if I put the um, port forwarding parameter, it will work. And I can even, for instance, install a package there. Yeah, so you see it works. So I made a um, pull request to the SALT SSH um, yesterday and uh, they already accepted and merged this into the develop branch. Yeah, um, that's basically it on this topic, but we also planning to do another SALT SSH based feature that's a bootstrapping of minions. <coughs> so uh, imagine a system that you want to manage with the manager, but it does not have uh, the SALT minion installed. Um, we are currently working on a bootstrapping and a UI based bootstrapping feature. I can show you this as well because I uh, currently have it um, have it here on my um, on my server. So um, you can get there from here. And um, you see here is new new UI. You can just enter host name of the machine you want to bootstrap. In this case, it's the one that we just looked at. You can provide um, an, the SSH port that should be used, a user uh, to connect to, uh, in case this user is not um, root. Um, sudo will be used to install the, uh, to apply the bootstrapping state. Bootstrapping state basically means um, install the salt minion from a bootstrap repository and enable it, uh, I mean start it and let it point to the server. <coughs> Okay, so when I run this now, it should not work because 
we still have this entry in ETC hosts. Yeah, you see here, uh, it cannot connect because of my entry in ETC host, so I will quickly fix that. Uh, try again. So yeah, you see it worked. So basically, Minion should be installed and should point to the master here. So um, we can go on with uh, accepting the key that now pop shows up here. And then we are ready for managing the system. Yeah, and that's basically it. <laughs>